if you, if you think about the recovery, um, Collins in our, our business is very much about supporting the world traveling again, but that can really only happen if passengers feel protected um, and that we've got the right um, processes and procedures in place. And so if you take a look at, at two different variables, you've got the domestic travel that you're starting to see happen in the likes of China uh, and Vietnam, and, and that's starting to see some recovery. But my belief is that we're probably going to see a slower recovery associated with international travel. And that's because of a few things. The first one is passengers really feeling protected and safe. The second one is that we've got a number of restrictions around the world that are in place, rightly in place by, by governments, and also a number of countries where the, the borders are, are closed. So while we're seeing news of airlines putting more flights on, it's a slightly irrelevant stat if people don't feel safe, if the restrictions aren't eased, and we don't see uh, the borders opening. So we're, we're very much believing that there is a need for multilateral collaboration amongst organizations, industry organizations, and governments. So um, Collinson supporting the uh, ACI, Airport Conference International, and the IATA, the International Air Transport Association, in their approach to global standards of consistency. Because if you have global standards of consistency, then you'll see a speedier recovery on the international basis. What about the quarantines themselves? Because obviously we've seen a lot of pushback to governments trying to import, impose those two-week quarantines off the back of travel. I mean, that's something that's been suggested here in Dubai, but it's only if you have tested positive that you'll have to do that or if you have symptoms. Um, but in the UK, of course, there was a great discussion surrounding that. I mean, at one point you have the medical community saying that this is something that has to be done. And at the second point, the business community saying this is going to kill our business. I mean, what's the way forward there? Um, I, I think the way forward has to be has to be a, a combination of balance. So quarantine periods do provide some challenges to to businesses as they try to get uh, the world going again, the economy going again. Um, we are looking at testing on arrival um, in in multiple markets as playing an important role in that recovery until such time as a vaccine is is available and and available on on a wide basis. So just in the last couple of days, Collinson in the UK, through its medical assistance business, announced a partnership with Swissport to start looking at pilots in a number of UK airports with the potential for test on arrival um, to support the easing of quarantine re restrictions. And it's very important to say to support the, the easing of, because I think it's a complementary aspect. It can't be just take down the quarantine. It has to be a combination of, of testing and the right kind of quarantine.